Hello and welcome to our presentation on the classification of natural and engineered rock slopes using UAV photogrammetry for assessing stability. My name is Neil and this presentation and paper are co-authored by Lisa, Davide, Mirko, Riccardo and Monica from various universities in Italy. Basic concepts of photogrammetry involve capturing a series of overlapping photographs ideally high resolution and from different angles. This can be done using terrestrial or aerial equipment, including UAV, or a combination of both. It also requires surveyed ground control points. On the right, you can see in green the location and orientation of various photographs that were captured. From the high resolution photographs, we can create a digital surface model or DSM and that can be in the form of a colored point cloud or a textured mesh. The hardware and software required for undertaking photogrammetry include digital cameras whether terrestrial or by UAV. In these cases Mavic and Phantom drones by DJI were used. The software used was Shademetrix UAV by 3GSM and cloud compare. The Q-slope method for assessing slope stability in the field uses seven parameters. RQD and JN or joint set number, joint roughness and joint alteration, an orientation factor, J Weiss, which is an environmental and geological condition factor, and a strength reduction factor specifically made for slopes. The Q-slope classification system was developed to provide a correlation between Q-slope ratings and long-term stable slope angles using the formula shown in blue. Stable maintenance-free slope angles of 40 to 45 degrees are attained with a Q-slope value of approximately 0 0.1 and 80 to 85 degrees with a Q-slope value of 10. Typically Q-slope has been used for slope heights less than 50 meters, however slopes of greater than 200 meters in relatively uniform ground conditions have also been analyzed successfully. As shown on the right, the Q-slope chart and data is supported with over 500 case studies from around the world. In the first case study, we'll review the rock falls at San Leo in northern Italy. In 2006, the northern and eastern cliffs experienced a 50,000 cubic meter rockfall. This was subsequently followed by a larger slide in 2014 that you can see on the right, which was 300,000 cubic meters. These have been attributed to the presence of swelling clays near the base of the cliffs. Because of the rockfall hazard, there is limited field access for field mapping directly beneath the backscarp. UAV photogrammetry was applied. UAV photogrammetry was completed using a series of photographs 30 to 50 meters away from the slope, enabling a high resolution model with a ground sample distance of 10 millimeters. This enabled the mapping of RQD or rock quality designation, which was typically 100%. Three prominent discontinuity sets were identified. Set A, one of these sets, causes collapse unless supported. The Q-slope method for rock slope engineering was applied to the San Leo case study. The pre-failure cliff angle was 89 degrees, that is, it was effectively vertical. In the table on the left you can see the Q-slope parameters that were applied to estimate Q-slope. With the exception of joint roughness and joint alteration, or JR and JA, which were obtained from nearby field mapping exposures, the remainder of parameters were estimated using UAV photogrammetry. A Q-slope value of 5.83 was obtained. Beta represents the long-term stable angle for slopes. Beta was estimated using Q-slope and it was estimated to be 80 degrees, which is almost 10 degrees shallower than the pre-failure cliff angle. Our second case study takes us to a surface mine in the Caribbean. 
Here the engineered slopes are located at 300 to 500 meters above sea level in a tropical setting receiving 2 meters of annual rainfall. The geology includes carbonaceous sediments including mudstones, sandstones and interbedded tufts. The strata is sub-horizontal and interlaid with disintegrated rock, silt and clay infilling in discontinuities. In most cases, bent stability is generally dictated by a single joint or multiple joints forming wedges. The areas of interest were temporarily inaccessible in the mine due to the progress of the open pit. Inaccessible area of interest 1 comprised a complex collapsed wedge. The second area of interest was a stable slope that was thrust faulted. UAV photographs were taken from a distance of 50 to 75 meters away from the slope, resulting in a ground sample distance of 20 millimeters in the model. The model was used to estimate RQD, which averaged at 70% across both case studies. The main geological features were mapped and are shown both as disks in the photographs and in the stereographic projection. These were used to estimate the orientation factor in QSLO. JR and JA were obtained from nearby diamond cored boreholes and they were validated with face mapping were accessible lower in the slope. Q slope was estimated for both areas of the mine, the failed case study with the wedge at the bottom and the stable faulted area above. Q slope values of 0.27 and 1.0 were attained for the failed and stable areas respectively. Photogrammetry and Q-slope were successfully applied to both natural and engineered slopes. Previously inaccessible areas could now be inspected and evaluated, with results correlating well with the infield method. However, there are limitations and supplementary information is required, either from boreholes or field mapping. This includes interact rock strength estimates and the evaluation of joint conditions and the process is slower than conventional infield Q-slope assessments. However, UAV photogrammetry is a good complement to the infield methods used today. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference.